but together you and I will get through this. So uh, I hope that you have low standards tonight, and if not, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you'll have to put up with us. It, think of this as your Easter penance. I know that's something new. We're, we're trying to start it in the church. So this will be your Easter penance tonight. But I think we might have... Is that... What is that in the back there? Is that... Is that a pony? Is... Is that a... Is that a horse? Do you see it? It's a big horse. Oh my goodness. Watch out. Wow, he's, he's really galloping while we're not moving. Wow, he's silent. Silent. Oh, there we go. Funeral home, more of its financial, Butler County Health Care, Edgar Bilker and Wilmer Attorneys. We need one of those. <laughs> we will after tonight. BJ's <laughs> <laughs> Hardware, Bank of the Valley, Cobes and Motors. Skyhawk Transfer, Mills and Rita and Ryder, and Hartman Auto. Well, phenomenal. Well, we need a great sponsor. Let's give a hand a round of applause for our sponsor. St. Mary's and it's been a great start and we get along pretty well and uh, it's, it's been a good start but I will say you know when we don't see eye to eye which hasn't really happened too often but when it has I found this and I'm going to share with you when you don't see eye to eye with somebody the best way to share your criticism is to do it really quietly so they can't hear it so uh, without further ado here's Father uh, Connor and his crew as I did, you like to have some activity, right? Now, I can see Jim likes hunting. That's great. 
You know, Paul Morphy, I'm a Catholic too. I was born in New Orleans. I went to uh, Spring Hill in Mobile, Alabama. That's where Father Connors went to college. And I went on and got a law degree. Uh, they said that I memorized the entire Louisiana law book, and I did. I like honey. That's fine. Jim, I like billiards. That's good. It's a great game. You can take your pool anywhere you want. You know how to put together. You can have some fun. At any bar, some homes have billiards table. It's all good. Jim, I see you've got a couple of rackets in your hand. Don't know exactly what that is, but if you like it, then you're tall. You know so how to spike, huh? So that's all good, too. I see uh, Jim. Well, Michael took a little chance on your name. Good <laughs> like Play with that little white ball, chase that thing around, pay big dollars. Whoa, watch out. <laughs> hey, that's all good. Whatever you guys enjoy, so I want to just share with you what I enjoy. And one of the things I've enjoyed most about this presentation is, well, you know, Deb, she does not know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I think she put me first for two reasons. One, we're kind of setting the bar pretty low. <laughs> The other reason I'm first, she couldn't stand waiting a minute longer to find out what I'm going to do. So, here we go. Not for the plan. This is improvising here. We're going to get at that tonight, aren't we now? Yes, I commend you all as Catholics and Christians and people of God for praying for that gentleman that had a heart issue. Thanks be to God. As I could see, there was medical people surrounding him immediately. I'm not big into HIPAA, you know, 18, 30, <coughs> what did I say, 37, I was born. <laughs> it's a fact. 1837, I was born. And so. We took care of people the way it was taken care of right here. Somebody's hurt, you assist them. Right there on the spot, there was an anesthetist, Renee. There was a PA, Jim. There was a doctor, Joe. There was a rescue squad. Praise the Lord, it could not have happened in a better time and a better place. So, thanks be to God, and you all pray. You get those foot rackets right in the back, right places. That's pretty good. <laughs> Jim, okay. Jim, that's Jim. Jim. Who's Jim? You guys yeah. hang out with Jim. Jim a lot. Yeah, Jim. Yeah, the other Jim. Okay. When I was when I was 21, I played one of these games. Now they said this is a variety variety show, so I figured this is a little variety. Not everybody comes up and does this, right? So I was 21 years old. You know, that's when the brain is really working, right? Well, I beat everybody in the United States of America. Chess was not altogether popular. Louisiana probably had a lot of people, but I played a tournament in New York. I played a couple of tournaments in, in various parts of the country, but God blessed me with a good chess mind. And uh, so they said, you've got to go to Europe. Well, I wrote to some of the best players, best players in Europe, like Stanton. And he said, I'm not coming there. Young man, you come here. So I went to England, played some of the best. I played some of the best in Paris. And they said, you must be the world champion. Now, this is before the World Wide Web, you realize. So it's not an official world champion, but basically every one of the chess worlds agrees I was a three-year world champion. I'm just going to play one game for you. This is against two people. Now don't misunderstand me. You never play against two people in chess, but we did. We played in Paris at the Opera. This game is one of the most famous games. You Google it, say most famous chess game, it'll be top ten. Trust me. So, I opened up, I was white. Uh, I opened up, this most standard move, standard response. Next move, I'm attacking his pawn. Next move, he's supporting his pawn. Next move, I decided to 
dominate the center a little bit here. Uh, he brought out his uh, bishop to attack my knight. Then he did against the queen. I said, okay, that's fine. I'll just take your pawn. Instead of taking my pawn back, he took my knight. Now, in now day and age, uh, somebody famous like the world champion in the United States, have you know, Bobby Fischer, he said this is a weak move. So that's when he started losing. So anyway, I took the, of course, took the uh, bishop back with my queen. He took my pawn off the board. And then um, it's my move. So I decided to put a second hit on this pawn here. That's the weakest piece on the board because it's only supported by the king. You learn that. I understand some kindergartners are learning from Father Connor here. <laughs> some kindergartners are learning that, so this is not too high level yet. So you have to defend that, so we put a block on it so the queen could not have hit it. I swung my queen over here, so I got attacked here. So he's got to support it again with something else, because he's only got the king now, he's got the queen. So I said, well, that's pretty good. So I'm going to get my knight out. I'm known in chess manuals for being good in development and also big attackment of the center squares. Well, he decided to uh, attack my bishop here. Well, I need to get my bishop out into action. So he came out. Now what am I going to do? So I decide, well, I'll take that. He takes back naturally. I throw in a check here. So he's got to either move or he's got to block it. So he decides to block it with this knight. Good idea. <laughs> then I said, what am I going to do? Well, here's a swift move. This is kind of unique. This is called the castle. Only time in the chest we move two pieces once. Ask the kindergartners. <laughs> so he decides to better support it with this rook over here. So I'm going to just take that knight off the board. He's going to take it back. I'm going to put another hit with another rook here on there. Now, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to take it. Let me see it. No, it's his move. I'm sorry. So he's going to go here and get this queen offer to sacrifice a queen and also get this out of the way in case he needs to move this knight. So he's, now he's got two pieces supporting there. So he takes here. Now he can take with the knight and not reveal his queen and lose his queen. Now, this is kind of the beauty of the game. This is why it's known still today. And uh, the good Lord, you know, gave me a mind, just like he gave everybody here a great mind. A lot of creativity. I should tell you, if you know nothing about chess, there's more moves possible in a chess game than there are grains of sand in the world. And that's true. In other words, it's numerically impossible, even in this top day and age, with computers to compute the number of possibilities in chess games. Just for your affirmation. So here's the move I made. Of course, look at that. That's a check. But of course, you're sacking the queen, baby. You don't want to use your queen unless you really got something up your sleeve. So he captures it with the knight. Now the coup de grace. Checkmate. Let's have a round of applause. Easter. Well, I wasn't home, but I was Father Connor's house, his brother's house in Kansas City. And he said, why don't you play this for my brother and see how it goes, see how he likes it. He says, you're going to do that at variety show? I said, yeah, what do you think so? Well, people want up the hell you're doing. Well, I can't see you, so what the heck? But if you ever want to learn something about chess, see a kindergarten. <laughs> Now you guys know what my evenings are like. <laughs> Usually when we sit there around the table and he gives me play-by-plays of, uh, of chess, I've learned the best thing to do is nod your head and smile. <laughs> the worst part is I think he thinks I know how to play chess now. So one of these days maybe he'll have to whoop me. He'll, it'll be a hard awakening that his, his lessons, you're not sinking in. You're not. But, uh, but that's okay. You know, we, we have our differences, but Hey, if, if I'm going to lose at something, chess is okay. That's an admirable thing to lose in. So, 
Um, but we'll, we'll get better at it. And then before long, my goal, by the time I'm done with my assignment here, is that I will no longer have to nod my head and smile. I'm not sure what, what else I should do, but I, I just hope I have a different response before too long. But without further ado, we have our next act.